What is up, guys? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> yes, I'm you not did. as good, but I try. You did, now you do it. Okay, go ahead. Do what it. is up, guys? There it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. So as you can tell, I'm at that's Ben. That's CRKT. What's up, guys? I, uh, I just shot a video with Joel about some tactical knives. Now we're going to talk about some outdoor knives, and then we're going to do another video talking about everyday carry knives. Uh, Joel's voice is totally shot. Ben, you're doing all right? I'm doing so good. He's so good. I'm not sick this year, which is fantastic. That's true. Last year you were sick. I was so sick. But he was a trooper last year. It was fun. Anyhow, you don't want to hear all those details. You guys want to see knives and stuff. We're going to first talk about some outdoor gear, outdoor knives, and then, uh, so basically I'm going to hop to the other side of the camera. So you know, look at my mug. Look at this handsome face. Yeah. Just look at that. Yeah. It's so pleasant. Look Anyhow. Beard, man. <laughs> all right, let's talk about knives. Let's do it. So first off, guys, I want to tell you about this pack axe. It's called the Burler. It's got a 1055 high carbon steel on it, a hickory handle, solid piece. And uh, the thing I like about this is it's designed by a guy named Elmer Roush, who's a Vietnam veteran. And uh, just a solid dude. It, this is part of what's called the Forged by War program. 10% of the proceeds, the CRKT profits from this, the sale of this axe, go to the Green Beret Foundation. So Elmer is a vet. Um, he's had a lot of hard times in his life, kind of as a result of that. And the Green Beret Foundation has helped him a lot. So this is our opportunity as a company to help out a charity that is helping him. So I'm stoked on that. He gets a royalty and then we give 10% of the profits to charity. Solid little ax. It's gonna be great for camping, hiking, whatever you wanna do with it. Nice piece. Tim was actually, um, I think I had to wipe a little bit of his drool off this one <laughs> before we started filming That's because uh, he likes it. So. Do you know what's our retail gonna be on that, guys? Retail on this one, I believe. Man, you're asking the hard question. It's like day three. I think it's 59 69 That's right actual, that actual retail or MSRP? MSRP. Okay, so even so, less. Yep. So. And this thing, you know what the weight on it is? Because it is super lightweight. Dude, you're asking all the hard okay. questions. It's like, He's going to go back to his textbook. I'm just going to show you He's this. He's going to show you that. But it is, I held another axe, I won't, uh, I won't tell you who, but very recently. And 10.3 ounces. 10.3 ounces. So this thing yep. is, I would take this in the woods, put this on a belt, very, very lightweight. And just, it's a, yeah. I said it's all the time now. It's a handsome blade, but it's a very, it's a pretty blade. It's a pretty and looking axe. I'll bet guys on YouTube are going to ask, hey, what about a sheath for it? We are coming out with an aftermarket leather sheath on leather, it. Okay. It'll come out around the same time. Um, the thing about that, guys are like, well, why doesn't it come with it? Well, we want to keep it in a price point. We want to sure. keep this affordable. So you can either make your own, you can buy one from us, you can make one out of Kydex. Um, you can throw it in the back of your truck, but you can afford it. So awesome. that's a solid way to look at it. All so, right. all right, next one, guys. Let's take a look. I want to show you this one. We won't spend too much time on it, but you're probably familiar with the Minimalist series. This is the latest iteration of the Minimalist by Alan Foltz. But I like this one. It's a drop point blade, black stone wash, G10 handle, the all the same sort of features as your regular Minimalist. But uh, in all the colors and features, I like drop point blades. I think they're really useful especially outside. I know uh, a lot of guys love to carry this one as a neck knife, because it's lightweight. So, easy to carry, fun knife to own. Is that, and this is kind of a silly thing, but yeah. that little snap here. Yeah. Is that new, or is that for um, all your neck knives? It's, it's pretty new. It's, it's kind of like one of those innovations that we just started sticking on. Um, it is an emergency, like, don't get choked out sort sure, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. So it comes undone. Sweet. So a nice little piece on that. And we got another neck knife here. Let's talk about this one. This one's called the Savette designed by Flavio Toma, and uh, just a solid little, again, neck knife, and it actually comes with a, a ball and chain that threads through the sheath, okay. and uh, lightweight, fits nicely in hand. Totally, totally Flavio Toma. Totally Flavio Toma. Ba baby Absolutely. fossil fixed blade. Yeah, right. exactly. That's sweet. So the cool thing about this one is, uh, when you use your knives, like let's say you cut up an apple and you, you put your knife back in, or you're cleaning out an animal or whatever, you put it back in the sheath, you're gonna get crap inside of your sheath, and uh, that can, I mean, it's nice to be able to get in and clean that. that. So, that actually comes apart, you can get in and you can clean it, and then the cool thing about that is once you've got the, the bead chain that comes with it, through those two that holes, locks in. locks in. Sweet. So kind of a cool innovation from Flavio uh, with the Savette. And you're, you probably wanna know price, I think it's $39.99. If it's not, just annotate it, man. I'm just going to leave the, the annotations to you. I'm all over it. All right. Next one is called the Pangolin. Love this. Love this. Designed by Ryan Johnson of RMJ Tactical. If you're not, tomahawks for you guys. Yeah. If you're not familiar with Ryan's work, you should definitely go check it out because he's a boss. Like he's, just, he's the type of guy that's just really good at what he does. And uh, he makes great knives, and we're happy to have him on board. It's got a glass-reinforced nylon handle. You got... Uh, 
It's a skeletonized handle as well. Gonna keep your weight in a good spot and uh, just nice in hand. I got smaller, smaller medium hands. Fits nicely in there. And then there's your sheath on it. Now the cool thing about the sheath, if you've ever used a tech lock, they're kind of a pain because you have to squeeze them like this, yank that. Well, you, you gotta pull that out, yank that. So the way this works, it's a button. And it also has a safety on it, so you can see it there. That's not gonna open. Open it, push, clamp it on. So you can do gear changes quickly. So that's kind of like the outdoorsy stuff that we came out with for 2016. Thanks to LA Police Gear and Anchor Power for supporting this trip to SHOT Show 2016.